So we've learned that on and off can be represented by one for on and zero for off, right? And so we have all these zeros and ones. And those zeros and ones are actually known as binary digits, binary digits. We call them binary digits because by is a prefix used to indicate two. We have a bicycle, which has two wheels. We have a biplane, which has two wings, right? Or we have binary digits. So the binary numbering system, which consists of binary digits, only has two numbers. It has zero and it has one. And the zero represents off and the one represents on. So that's what binary digits stands for. And that's where we get the word bits from. So we often talk about bits in relation to computers, like how many gigabits, how many gigabytes, how many megabytes. Uh, so a byte is also another slightly different way of referring to all these zeros and ones. But bits comes from binary digits. And, uh, and measuring bytes is, and bits is really important in computers. So how do we go about doing that? Well, if there's just one bit, we say, hey, it's a bit. If there are eight bits, eight bits, we call it a byte, B-Y-T-E. If there are a thousand bytes, we call it a kilobyte. If there's a thousand kilobytes, we call it a megabyte. If there's a thousand megabytes, we call it a gigabyte. If there's a thousand gigabytes, we call it a terabyte, right? Actually, technically speaking, this is if there's a thousand and twenty-four bytes, we call it a kilobyte. But just, you know, it's only 24 of them. So just shave that off and call it a thousand bytes is equal to a kilobyte, just for simplicity's sake. So we could start to figure out exactly how many single zeros and ones are in each of those things. So with one byte, we actually have eight bits, right? Because there's eight bits in a byte. With one kilobyte, we have 8,000 bits because a kilobyte has basically 1,000 bytes. So, you know, a megabyte's got 8 million, a gigabyte's got 8 billion, a terabyte's got 8 trillion single zeros and ones. 8 trillion single zeros and ones. So that's a whole heck of a lot, whole heck of a lot. So, uh, you know, that's basically how we measure uh, bits and bytes. And I've got an exercise for you in the next video to uh, do a few calculations using that.